this is Leo's tiny house. He's done a really nice job of um, designing quite a divergent space. Um, and he's just looking at finishing things off now. Many have asked about the picture um, in Archicad. If we go into the object library and look up for a picture to put on the wall, um, really our only option is this one. It may look like a Vincent Van Gogh here, but when we go to render it, it's of this dude. Don't know who he is. If anyone can tell me who he is, um, he could be a painter. I don't know. Is he Shakespeare? Anyway, um, so we need to put in our own custom pictures. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So when um, you go onto Google and look for an image, um, you can, you know, save any image. But the trick to it is when you save the image, ensure it's a JPEG. Um, if it's a PNG file, it won't work. So ensure it's a JPEG. Call it something that you will remember and save it to a folder that you will remember. Here it is because we need to go and fetch it. We're back in Archicad. So back in Archicad, uh, we need to add that picture to our library. So when we're downloading library parts from the internet, um, it goes into our embedded library, and that's what we need to do. We need to add to our embedded library. So file, library manager. Uh, the library manager pops up, and this is our library in our libraries in our project. We click on the embedded library. And these are all the parts that I have downloaded on this computer. They're sitting there already. We want to add to that. Um, so we go to this little chair with the arrow, add new file. Go to our folder. So there could be, it may not come up automatically like this. So find your folder and find the image that you want to put in and go open. Um, so that's sitting there now. It's not added yet properly. We need to reload it and apply it to our library. So make sure we click on that. Um, it'll reload and then it's done. We go OK. So now when we go back into our object library, we've selected the TV. We'll go to picture. We can use custom picture here. And you can just right click on uh, to the side here and you'll see it sitting there in our embedded library so choose bird and there we go it loads uh, you can have it with the frame don't have to have the frame you can have it without frame this is a really good option if you want to put a wallpaper on the wall um, and you want to spread it over a whole wall and you found a lovely texture you can change the size of the image quite easily here so you could potentially stretch the image out uh, to fit a whole wall if you were wanting to do a wallpaper or a backsplash. Or perhaps um, you want a different tile on the wall. You can load your own surfaces into Archicad, but that's a different um, tutorial. This one's kind of a shortcut and a really nice, easy way of doing it. So once you're happy with everything, OK, and you can click it into your space. Hopefully, I've got that around the right way. Um, I also didn't, I don't even know if Leo's got some space here for a bit. There's a space. Um, we'll go back in there because I didn't lift it off the ground. Uh, oh, you said it, 15.30 here. So that's a distance off the ground. So make sure you've got that right. You can adjust it afterwards anyway. So we'll put that on the wall there. Looks like it might be around the wrong way, which is a really good example. Yeah, so that often happens. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. So if we go back into this picture, we look in the plan view of that picture, come up with this arrow and just keep clicking whoop, until it goes all the way around. And hopefully when we click it again now, if I should put it on this wall. Oh, we've got it around. Oh, yeah, so it was made for this wall. Here we go. Um, here we have it. It's a bit high, so we can change the height off the ground here. Maybe we'll change that to 1200. Yay, all good. And that's sorted. And we'll just get rid of this one. I don't need that one. And we can zoom back out, and that will render up really nicely. So that's how we do a custom picture.